Hello, this is another Adobe Photoshop um, tutorial for Fnantic Studios. I am Sikian, or Sikman, whatever you want to call me, and this is another Adobe Photoshop tutorial about how to make your own patterns. Now, what you do is once you get, once you get your Adobe Photoshop program open, you click on File, New. Now, it doesn't matter how big the size is, as long as it's just a new little uh, background. Okay? And you want to do File, and you want to go to Layer new layer before you start anything so you click on new layer okay right I'm just gonna use this brush I got that came with the program it's sort of like a sun effect so I'm just gonna literally there this about in the uh, I mean you don't have to, you don't have to use this you can use all different types of stuff create your own spend a lot more time with it and um, obviously you know be patient and uh, make it look good for the background or whatever you may use it for so I'm just literally gonna only dab it across, so sort the of, uh, fill most of the page up with a couple of these little effects. <clears throat> now, what you want to do is once you're happy with what you've got, you want to click on this little the background bit. You want to click the eye. So now it should just be the layer one with all your graphic design. So you want to click on edit, and it says define pen. You want to click that. Now I'll come up with a name. I'm just going to call this Custom Free. So I'm going to click OK. Now it's gone off. What I'll do is I'll click on a little X, get rid of that, and I'll um, start again. I'll just click on New. And I'm just going to put a little um, word in. So I'll just paste this in here and annex it in there. We go. Right, I'm going to click on Layer. Up. <clears throat> Double click on it. Um, where it says pattern overlay, click that. Now, as you can see, it's already changed. But you want to click this little L, and your pattern should be here, which it is. You can see there's all swirly stuff, and if you just drag your mouse across, you can literally, you know, change the graphics. As you can see, there's sort of sunny effects. So this looks good. So if I just smooth it down like that, maybe put a bit of outer, outer lighting to it. And there you go, there's your own unique gradients inside instead of downloading loads. And like I said, you can just double click this, go to pattern overlay, and it's always saved there. And it's there. And you know, you have to then just literally see so you can move it about, or you can move the scale. So as you can, as you can see, it will go in and out. And that's one way of creating your own patterns. I mean, it's a lot easier, it's a lot more fun, you get a bit more um, your unique way. Of a pattern, your know, unique design instead of downloading constant um, ones off the internet. So, there, there is another tutorial for Fnantic Cinema. And if you need any more help on Adobe stuff, Vegas, just leave a comment and we'll get back to you. Okay, that's me out. Sick and bye.